Okay, Grant, so here at Woodfords, um, how, much, how nice is it to see that Norwich are sort of involved with local companies like this? No, I think we pride ourselves on that. We're um, in the community, that's what we're all about. I think everyone knows that Norwich is a community club um, and to get people like Woodfords involved and especially at the moment with the deal they've signed and, and things all up in the air, it's, it's absolutely fantastic for both parties to be involved in it. Yeah, like, like a beer yourself? Yeah, I've had one or two in the time, yeah. Look, I, I like the diversity, of it. that's why I always said about Woodfords and stuff and, and coming down here I've been here a few times for, for lunch and stuff like that and I try, try and as many as I can but I've got to be careful To be fair the Barclay is obviously sort of um, hallowed ground for Norwich fans isn't it so that they're going to take seriously any sponsorship but I, th I think most people have thought that the, the Woodfords logo on the front of it has looked pretty good Yeah I think it's worked it's worked really well as I said as, as the football club but this is what Brandon's all about and that's what co commercial things we have to do and I said at the moment to get the, the contract these have just signed with the climate we've just been in and uh, it's, it's phenomenal really that yeah. the two parties have come together to kind of continue doing it together which is fantastic okay um, how much are you missing football then I mean it's, it's been so strange isn't it and you're, you're someone that's used to being at games live all the time how are you sort of managing without your, your football fix um, to be brutally honest I've quite enjoyed it to yeah. be honest with you so it's been a nice to sit at home with the kids and have a bit of time so but in terms of like watching it and stuff it's been a, a killer trying to watch the games no fans and I can't have the fake noise that's in the background doesn't really get it and then I'm watching it and the other way around so it is it is a bit strange i said it's um one of them things that you've just got to kind of get on with uh the sooner we can get back in the stadiums the better but when it's right to do so what about yourself you, you were still playing last year when you were for, for roxham and a bit for horsford and stuff what, what, what do you think with your playing days are they are they still going yeah i'm still doing it. i've been doing pre-season and keeping fit and um i said got a game tonight so i won't be having too many beers here today obviously might be just have one um, but no, it's it's good. I said it, I'll keep going as long as I can keep playing, and nothing else gets in the way. So as soon as the job stops, we playing that's when I stop. Uh, ask you a little bit about Barrow as well. I mean, uh, a club that is sort of close to your heart, I guess. I and mean, how how pleased are you to to see them in the football league? Yeah, absolutely delighted. I said they've waited a long time to do it, and then finally achieved it to go into the league. Um, and I think they'll do well. They'll have a good push. It's great for the, the community. As I said, they've, the one thing they've done a bit like Norwich is they've bought into the community spirit. They've got people on board who, and companies on board that really want to see the, the city succeed. So for them, it's fantastic. As I said, as, as well for Kings Lynn, absolutely delight for Ian Culverhouse to, to finally get up. And, and, and for them, it's great for us to have a, a club like that on the doorstep in, in the National League. So I'm looking, for, looking forward to covering them next season. Yeah, it's quite exciting. They've got a few of the Norwich lads already going there, haven't they? Um, do you think that'll be a good sort of breeding ground for the National League? I mean, it's, it's a big test for Kings in to start with. Yeah, it's a big test. As you talk, you just said about Barragon League 2, uh, National League's no different to League 2 at the moment um, in terms of the quality in there. So it's going to be a big test. And I said, it's great for us. We we needed, um, we've got, we send our lads on loan here, then everywhere to now have a National League team on the doorstep. It's fantastic for the club. OK, Norwich then. Um, we won't look backwards too much. I think plenty's been said on that front, hasn't it? But how pleased are you to see the, the sort of rebuild get, getting going really quickly? Yeah, well, I said it's, it's one of them things. You, you don't do, you don't just sit around hoping for the best. You, we, we do all the work in the background. You've got all the targets. You get everything sorted. Um, you've always got to have one eye in if you go down or if you don't go down. Uh, I think we've been behind the scenes in lockdown. I think that there's a fantastic recruitment department, Kira and everyone getting, and Stuart Weber and getting everything sorted for the, to, to come in and get the lads to come in. So it's great. And I said, if you look at a bit of business, it's pretty similar to what we'd expect in terms of the kind of players and the kind of people want to bring the football club. And I'm excited for next year. Um, Kieran Dowell's come in. He, he did very well for your, one of your former clubs in Forest. Do you, do you know much about him? I think he's a, he's a player that uh, fans have been uh, quite excited about. Yeah, he's very good. Good player. As I said, he's, I think a lot of the signs that came in and, and we, we look at them and think, look, skip even in yesterday. It's like good players, good footballers, and, and, and they fit our model. I said, I think that's what you see now with our signings. I don't think you see anyone coming and go, I'm not so sure. I think everyone who kind of looks now and looks at the players that we bring in, you can see where they fit into the into the squad and, and the way Daniel wants to play and where the football club. So they're, they're the kind of characters come in now. I think that's the biggest thing. We've got, we've got a structure, we've got a, a way of doing things, and uh, the signings all excite the fans, I think. Just finally then, I mean, Norwich fans have sort of seen the club come down from the Premier League and seen how difficult it can be to, to shake off the hangover. As a, as a former player, what do you think are sort of the key things the players need to do to really keep on track during that first half of the season particularly? Just going to do what they've done when they won it. So it's the same thing. I can't see that many changes. And I said the old the lads who have done it before know what it's like to do it, and the new lads will buy into it because they come. They want, the reason we've got the signings coming in because they want to be successful, and they're coming to a club that, yes, we've been relegated quite a few times, but we've been promoted quite a few times. So 
and as I said before, you're going to get out of your head. The relegation is relegation. They stay in the Premier League's tough. We're, we've got a football club who's financially stable. We've got fantastic assets in the building. We've got an out and training ground that's just been finished off. It was on the back end, probably one of the, the best in the country now in terms of the academy and the pitches and what we've got. So that's where our future will be. I said we, we need to bring players through. We need to bring through the academy. The academy is in a great place. And, and you look who we brought through at the end of the season, likes of Martin Ida to come on the bid. So what, what more, more, more do you want as a football club? OK, Sam, so here at Woodfords, uh, they're sticking with the club during what is a testing time for, for all football clubs at the moment. How, how pleased are you with that? We're really pleased uh, and we're really grateful. Um, it's been a brilliant first couple of years of partnerships with Woodfords. And we've got to state that they, they, they did have the opportunity um, to walk away at the end of this season. There was an option in the contract to do so. Um, when we start, first started conversations with Joe Parks, it was very clear early on he's got a strategy for his business longer term in Norfolk. Um, and didn't want to walk away. So we've, we worked hard over the last couple of months. We've got a deal that we think is right for all parties. Delighted with five more years with Woodford's. And the, the, the branding is obviously very obvious at Carrow Road. How, how do you feel fans have reacted to that? Because generally, I, d I don't think there's been much negativity towards the Barclay being sort of branded in that way at, at all, really. I, I don't think there's been any. Uh, I think uh, I think it's some brilliant branding up there. I think um, when we originally did the deal, the guys at Woodford's were happy to to adopt the Norwich City colours and Pantones as well. I think it's just a brand that's synonymous with football fans and, and Norfolk in general, which is obviously Norwich City being one of the biggest institutions in the region. It just works really well together, which is why we're so pleased that we've, uh, we've got at least five more years together. And, and regardless of what happened on the pitch, they got some real <laughs> high-profile showing in the Premier League, didn't they? Absolutely. I mean, I think the games in lockdown in particular, I mean, some of the viewing figures are astronomical and, and obviously, yeah, I mean, it's, we, we always try and deliver uh, extra value for our partners. Obviously, we, we had no control over uh, over lockdown and that sort of thing, but um, but in terms of the added exposure they got, I think it would have been massive, yeah. And you did the, uh, or with Woodford, you did the special edition Pookie beer during last season, didn't you? So, uh, how popular did that prove? I mean, that was that was obviously sort of quite a, a good reaction to a situation. Yeah, I think last season was an incredible year uh, for Timo. Um, obviously, come off the back of a brilliant championship season. With the Finland activation we did and the Finland project we had, it just fitted perfectly. Uh, I know that the guys were really proactive here uh, to, to brand that out in Finland as well, and um, it was very popular. It's been very popular home and away. Yeah, I had a couple of pints of that. It was very nice. Um, we've got the new shirt up uh, behind you here, and um, yes. your team very much involved in that. How, how pleased have you been with the reaction so far? Very pleased, very pleased. It's been a long time uh, in the making. I think we first started designing it last July, so it's been a long, long process, and obviously things delayed due to uh, the world situation but very pleased with uh, opening weekend sales we're uh, like for like from the 18-19 championship season 25 percent up just really good what what we really do is uh, really want is to encourage fans to uh, if safe to do so to come in and see the kit i know there was some reaction with regards to it, possibly a little similar to previous kits it's, it in our opinion it's not when you see the fabric when you see the jacquard um, the premium feel to it i think it's a brilliant kit sales have been good so far and hopefully long may it continue